You're just so cute not using your hide and sleeping in a little leaf. Is that a gnat? Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are talking about one of, no, the most asked question that I get when people get their new baby crested geckos and that is, why is my crested gecko not eating? This question happens so, 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 so much. Basically just as much as, why is my ball python not eating? So I decided to put together a video about, very specifically, baby crested geckos not eating. Just to go ahead and preface this, these are going to be tips to make sure your crested gecko is eating because most likely they are eating. Biggest thing there, most likely your crested gecko is very much eating. It is very important to understand very first that baby crested geckos eat a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. When you are feeding them, if you're feeding them in just a normal size gecko cup, you're not going to see that they eat. If you're filling that cup up, even if you're halfway filling that cup up, you are not going to see them eat because they eat such a small amount, but it's because they're so tiny and their tummies are so tiny. So they don't need to eat that much to be full. My very first bit of advice, my very first thing is to put less food in that bowl. Put such a small amount of food in that bowl that it's just a thin layer on the bottom that you could hold it up to the light and you could see through it. Put that much food in the bottom of that bowl and most likely you're gonna be able to then see little tiny patches of food that they have eaten. Even when you do that, even when you put a very small amount, they're still not gonna eat it all. They're still only gonna eat a minuscule amount. So doing this means you're wasting less food because you are wasting a lot of food. If you are filling those bowls up or even halfway filling those bowls up, you're wasting a lot of food. And number two, it's gonna give you the peace of mind to actually be able to see when they are eating. Now, Next up, check for poop. If there is poop in that enclosure, your crested gecko is eating. They're gonna be tiny little poops and it might be best if you just got these crested geckos to keep them on maybe like a paper towel if you're worried about them just for a few days so you can see if they are going to the bathroom, but check for poop. It's honestly that simple. So if you see poop in there, then they're good to go. You might not see that they're eating, but they are eating. If you do not see any waste in that tank and you are still not seeing them eating from those tiny little amount of food in the food dishes, make sure that the temperatures are okay. This isn't the biggest concern with crested geckos because they do pretty good at room temperature. However, if it is winter time and your, where you keep your reptiles is 50 degrees, or if it is summertime and where you keep your reptiles is, I don't know, 85 degrees, those are outside of the temperature zones for that animal and they are probably very stressed out and that's why they're not eating. If they're too cold, they're not gonna eat. If they're too hot, they're not gonna eat. Make sure that your temperatures are good in that tank. Next up, do weigh-ins. If you don't think that they are eating, make sure that you at least once a week, just weigh them, put them on a kitchen scale and just see how many grams that crested gecko weighs. Usually most kitchen scales have a grams function in the unit of measurement. If that weight is going up, then they're growing. They are eating and they're fine. You also can just do like a physical check of them. Do they look good? Like does their belly look round? Do they look too skinny? If they look good, then they're probably eating. If they look too skinny, then it probably is time to start doing weigh-ins or maybe taking them into a vet, maybe taking a fecal sample into the vet so they can be tested for parasites. Again, not a thing that crested geckos normally have happened to them. It still could be safe to check, especially if you notice that your crested gecko is looking any kind of sickly. And checking to see if they're shedding also is a good indicator that they are growing. It could also be an indicator that they are losing a lot of weight, but that again is something that you're going to be able to visually see or at least see in your weigh-ins. So if they are shedding, they are also growing. But speaking of shedding, a lot of times crested geckos are not going to eat the day or maybe even the day before or the day after they have shed. A couple of reasons for this. Number one, when they are about to shed, they are very uncomfortable. It is super uncomfortable and they just want to get that skin off. My assumption is that it probably feels really itchy. And another reason is because crested geckos almost always eat their shed. They're gonna pull it off and they're going to consume it. There's a lot of vitamins and minerals in that. So if they've consumed their shed, they might not be hungry for the rest of the night. This is completely normal. Definitely looks a little weird the first time you walk in and see your crested gecko pulling their skin off and eating it. It, but it is completely normal. Tiny little bellies, that shed is gonna fill up that tiny little belly. And just another little tip to throw in at the end here. This one is one that definitely helped me when I very first got Dexter. Try changing their food. Dexter did not like Rapashi food. She did not like any brand other than Pangea. And even then, as she got older, she only liked certain envelopes of Pangea. Now she'll basically eat anything. She'll eat Pangea, she'll eat uh, Zoomed, she'll eat any other thing. She even eats 
bugs sometimes now. But at very first when she was a baby, she only wanted Pangea. I hear of a lot of geckos that only want that specific brand. I'm not sure if they just put more fruit in their <laughs> mix. I don't know what they do, but geckos tend to really, really like Pangea. Whatever breeder you get that crusty gecko from, just ask them what kind of food they were eating. Feed them whatever they were feeding them. That also can help too. Another quick tip, if you have a tiny, tiny little baby and you have them in a huge tank, sometimes that can cause them not to eat just because they're they don't search and they they don't they can't find the food if you do have a super super tiny little baby consider putting them in a small enclosure just for a little bit so that way they can easily find their food that often helps another thing that i just completely forgot to mention if your anxieties about them not eating still aren't alleviated by any of these things you can also just try hand feeding them sort of what i do is i either just put a little bit of the food onto the leaf wherever the crested gecko is or take like a chopstick and you can just kind of feed them with the chopstick and then you can actually see that they are eating and you actually can verify 100 that you know that they have eaten something but even in this you can see what tiny amount of food is is being offered to Morgan and it doesn't really look like anything is disappearing. But that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it eased any concerns that you might have over your new baby crested gecko. Crested geckos are so cute and so sweet and so fun, but that whole eating thing can be very, very stressful. And I know firsthand how stressful that is, but it's gonna be okay. Most likely they are eating. As always, if you do notice that your crested gecko is lethargic or sickly or anything like that, please take them to a reptile veterinarian so they can have a look at them and see what is going on. As always, if you're not already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put on a new video, which is every Sunday. And sometimes I do shorts on Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here and this week's subscribe shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking and following, subscribing and sharing and commenting and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. As you're watching this, tomorrow is a new year. So happy new year to all of you guys. Good morning, Twins. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are, did I do that in the last video? We'll do it twice just to make sure. Good. Where's my notes? Actually, um, another quick tip. I didn't do my bee's knees. Um, I did thanks so much for watching and we have a fantastic day. Bye. Uh, and I think that's it.